Okay, this is a quick demonstration of how to properly attribute images and video that you find on the web. If your students are anything like my students, they tend to go to Google Images, type in the, the name of the image that they're looking for and take anything that they want without thinking about whether the author has given them permission. And they certainly don't think about giving the author credit for using their work. And so today I'm just going to build a quick blog post that has an image which shows the proper attribution below the image. So when I'm giving credit, I like to use the open attribution builder because it helps me remember to put all the details in when I'm giving, when I'm giving credit. And I encourage my students to look for media using search.creativecommons.org because we know for the most part that the media they find through this search engine the author has allowed you to use it to some extent. So before you search for anything, um, you can look at different sites if you're looking for music or video. Today we're going to search Flickr and the search term is dogs. And you'll notice right away at the top, the license for all these images that I've just found is Creative Commons, so that's great. I like the eyes on this guy, so I'm going to click on him. And the first thing I'm going to do is to link to the picture. So down in the bottom right-hand corner here, I'll click on the share. And I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to go right to my blog. <clears throat> And I'm going to paste the picture in there. What this does is it allows me to link to the picture rather than download and upload. Because on most blogs, you're not going to have a whole lot of storage space. So this way, I'm not storing pictures. I'm just linking to pictures. I'm going to give it a title. And this is a not a great, but a great blog post. About dogs. And below here is where we're going to build the attribution. So the first thing I need is the title. If I go back to my dog, I'll find the title at the bottom. And the title is my dog. I'm going to paste that in there. Then I'm going to look for the URL. And so the URL will be right at the top here. I'm going to copy that, paste it in. Then I'm looking for the name of the author. And this happens to be here. I'm going to copy that, go back to my attribution builder, paste it in there. Now, depending on where you're searching for your images, you may be able to link to the author's website. It just so happens that Flickr allows me to do that. So I'm going to click on that copy the link for the author's website. I'm going to paste that in there. I'm not going to bother with organization or project, but now I need to look for the license. So this is really important. And I can find the license just below the share button. I'm going to click on it. And the name of the license is at the top here. So it's attribution 2.0 generic. I'll go back to my builder, find attribution, select the version 2.0. And then right at the bottom here, this piece of software has built my attribution for me. So I simply copy that, go back to my blog post and right underneath the picture, I give the credit. And so right now I've properly attributed the image of the dog. So I'm just going to see what that looks like. By previewing. And there you can see the attribution under the picture. So that's how to properly attribute images and video using the open attribution builder. Thanks.